What is up to all our sidekicks and henchmen out there in the Geek Nation? My name is Noel, and today we're going to do something a little different. This is a, a um, unboxing-ish video. Now, um, those of you who uh, aren't living under a rock know that we're kind of in the middle of a weird quarantine pandemic type of thing, um, and all of us found different ways to cope with it early on. Um, when Diamond wasn't shipping comics, when things were looking bleak, I may have committed to a couple of Kickstarters that I probably wouldn't have because I was just trying to support all kinds of things. Um, and yeah, uh, I saw this one. I thought it would be kind of cool because I'd never read the series. A lot of people talk about it. I have my own preconceived notions. However, it arrived today. So let I haven't looked at this. I just kind of peeked and saw what it was to, to verify. Um, but I figured I would unbox it on channel. So let's do this. That's just that. Inside was this. It was just enough to see that what it was. The Darkness, Top Cows, The Darkness, Volume 1, Definitive Volume 1, Kickstarter. Um, I gotta tell you, I did not go for like all the crazy big tiers because I honestly had never read the book. I think I've read randomly one or two issues of uh, of this title uh, over the years. Um, I always kind of dug it, but I never really went back to read it. It always felt a little cumbersome with tie-ins to other series. So Top Cow just kind of completely lost me, so I thought this was a solid opportunity to jump in but with that said i actually don't remember what the tier values were what uh, what the tiers were so we're gonna go through and see what all these goodies are and stuff together so let's see let's start it off with mind me blink blink uh, have you guys ever, who, who has read The Darkness? And did I make a mistake? Tell me, <laughs> tell me. So inside obviously here is the book. Here's the extras. Get rid of it here. So it seems as though we have a 25th anniversary commemorative edition of The Darkness number one. I guess it's a special cover of sorts. Uh, and then here's a whole bunch of things. Now, I did not go for a high tier, again, because I I don't know if I'm going to even like the book that much. This was just, these were just all the goodies that came with just the hardcover. So we've got some stickers. Let me get in there. The darkness stickers. Yoink. A coaster. Card. That coaster. Do you ever sometimes get stuff and don't really know what you're gonna do with it? So it's a bookmark. I'm always low on bookmarks to be completely honest with you. Postcard. <laughs> a door hanger? Door sign? Door hanger? I'm an idiot. Um we've got a print. It's comic book size, seven by 10, eight by 10, I should say. Uh, I presume this is a original art. Yeah, it's dated 2020, as in newly commissioned. It's not for original, obviously. And then we've got a calendar, a 2021 calendar. So let's, let's get into the actual nitty gritty. So this was a, the book itself is not Kickstarter exclusive, but I believe the dust jacket cover was Kickstarter exclusive. So you can get this in the direct market, it would just be a different cover. So yeah, we've got here the Complete Darkness Volume 1. Get a look at that, that's actually pretty, that's pretty slick. I gotta say, I really like this, it's um... It's a bit of a matte finish. It's not glossy, which uh, is nice to the touch. Oh, and then we've got a signature by Silvestri. 
So I believe that this is the cover for the um, direct market edition or just the bookstore edition. It just looks like this. Put this uh, it's a wrap around. I would love to be killing or, or using this dead space in order to talk about the story, but yeah, I got nothing. I do not know. I'm going in cold. I looked at the creative team and was like, yeah, this actually might be cool. So we've got Mark Silvestri, Garth Ennis, a couple of other great writers that have worked on this title over time. I thought it would be, uh, it would behoove me to give it a shot. So let's, let's crack the spine a little. Get all of that new books, uh, sound. <laughs> oh, binding looks great. Uh, oh, well, it's a sucky little blue piece there. I don't know if you guys can see. However, so it's blue binding, but a very decent eye. So this isn't gonna, and it's it's um it's actually standard size. It's not it's not oversized. So this isn't going to be very difficult to hold around and read. So normally I put grow dark covers on my dust jackets. However, because this is already a bit of a matte finish and it's standard size, I likely will not. Yeah, I, I think that um so the cover value is yeah this is the yeah it's the. Kickstarter dust jacket. I think the uh, normal retail is forty nine ninety nine. dollars um, The Kickstarter was, again, this was the bottom tier. It was essentially, I think, this, the same as retail. Uh, Might have been, like, a little extra because of the shipping, but it came with all of these other hoo-hahs and hotkeys and stuff. Now, um... Like I said, there were a couple of other Kickstarters that I that I contributed to because it was a it was, it was kind of how I coped. <laughs> um, so this will probably be the first of a few videos. I believe some of the other Kickstarters were um, Aster of Pan, um, Curse Words. Um, uh, there was another. Oh yes, yes, um, Maddie the, um, from Alex DeCampi and uh, Duncan Jones. So. Uh, I look forward to reading through this, and maybe I will... I My expectations are not incredibly high, because just I'm, it's just the era of comics that this kind of was in was not my favorite. However, I have a feeling, going back and reading it now, it will either be... It will either click more for me, and or I am going to see the seams, and it's going to be filled with tropes that I no longer fall for. So we'll see. And I look forward to actually figuring that out but um but yeah this is a uh, thanks for for spending the last couple of minutes with me uh i was very excited to kind of crack this open and see what it's about and hopefully um if you guys uh, if anybody else on the channel had uh had kickstarted this um yeah let me know what you think of the volume also too again this is available in the direct market so if you think this is kind of cool you didn't necessarily miss out just let your local comic shop know that you want this um it would just have a different dust jacket which honestly if it's a book that you want the contents are the same this doesn't necessarily matter uh i was just trying to support creators but either way um thanks for spending the last couple of minutes with me don't forget to like and subscribe click the bell notification in case you like all the stuff that we're doing here live i'm sorry for the uh the quick setup uh for this but um i wanted to focus the book uh but yeah so thank you uh we will talk to you guys later be sure to join us on sunday morning at 10 30 a.m eastern standard time where we will stream our podcast live um but besides that i'll see you later bye Happy reading. Cold pop.